Maisie. Bang! Oh, good job. That's good. One more. Maisie. Bang! No. Bang! Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, these two. This is uh, Maisie and Max. Uh, they're they're sisters. They were they were eggmates, uh, clutchmates. They are both uh, oh, about three and a half year old Gotham's cockatoos. Um, over here, this is Alex. Alex is a little bit older than the girls. He's also a a Gotham's cockatoo. He's uh, we think he's about I think he's about four and a half years old. And he is, uh, these, these two are dna female, and he's a, he's a dna male. Uh, with the eclectuses, it's a little easier to tell who, who's the boy and who's the girl. Because, uh, here. Because the girl is, of course, bright red. This is Pris. She is, oh, she just turned two a few months ago. And her boyfriend over there is uh, Gosha. He's a male eclectus. He is uh, just turned three. My wife and I had had dogs when we first got married, and, and I had grown up around birds. My, my mom used to raise cockatiels, and I was very comfortable being around them and, and, and knew the sort of level of commitment that it takes to, to have, have birds. And my, my wife had always talked about it would be neat to have birds, and I kept telling her, you know, she was a neat freak. I kept telling her, look, these are horrible, filthy, messy creatures and, and nothing you want to get involved in. But the dogs passed, and we couldn't really bring ourselves to you know, get other dogs. We, we felt like we were cheating our old dogs to get, get new dogs. So we, we we had heard about a bird who was looking for a home, and it turned out that that didn't work out, but sort of through, through exploring that, we sort of discovered the bird community. The, the, there, there tends to be sort of a network of folks that, uh, that, that have parrots that sort of stick together and trade information, and we, we came to have our, our first cockatoo, uh, Maisie. We ended up with her sister as well, who was Max, because we couldn't separate them because they were just so cute together. And it sort of grew from there. The rest of the history is probably very parallel to what most people experience with parrots in that they reach this sort of tipping point where they realize that they're in over their heads. And, and, and we certainly did. You know, a, a year or so into it, we realized that, that these creatures... Honestly, if I had it to do all over again, uh, or if, if the world had it to do all over again, probably wouldn't have been a good idea to try and make pets out of these things because they're just, they aren't cut out for it. But the genie's out of the bottle, and uh, I certainly don't want to, you know, downplay the the fabulous you know time that they've given us and the, and the great relationship that we have. But they're a lot of work, and and we sort of found ourselves at a point where we we had to make a decision to either give up the birds that, that so many people have to make, or to sort of recommit ourselves to doing the right thing for the birds and to sort of adjusting our life to. To, to given these, these these creatures a better life and and that's a that's a decision that every every person that has parrots is going to face at some point especially after they get their first bird Girl. they're fine i mean it, it, it's it's a it's a research project too um, they're they're the the knowledge base on these things is, is still expanding. They, they were they were really probably inserted into the, the pet community before we knew enough about them. And honestly, they, they probably still even shouldn't be pets. Um, but it's kind of hard to go go backwards at that point. But there, if there if there's any advantage, it, it's the the, the, the research that the folks do on wild flocks. It sort of applies to captive birds as well because there's, you know, except for the, the housing differences and the, and the diet differences, the behavior is very similar. You know, it, it's all hardwired behavior um, because they're, they're not at all domesticated animals. They're, they're essentially wild animals. That... What are you doing? Oh, you guys are so wound up. Want to do basketball? Come on, kid. Don't be shy. Get up there. Good girl. Want to do a train? Just do one. Want to do it? Good girl. There you go. No. Put on the train. Good girl. 
Bring it over. Good bird. You ready? Let's start. Let's start here. Okay, you can start that one instead. Good. All we're going to do now. Now you're all screwed up. you got to take them both. There you go. Yeah, I shouldn't have rewarded that. It was the wrong order.